Hi, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, situations where an inspector comes to a house and realizes that they've inspected this property before and is being asked to inspect it again for a different client. First and foremost, any inspection that you did for a prior client belongs to that client, whether by state regulation or by association regulation. You are required to keep all that information developed in that inspection confidential. The right to allow dissemination of any information related to the inspection resides with the client. In some states that are regulated, in order to share the report with a real estate agent, a lawyer, or anybody else, you need written authorization from your client. So that's step one. In terms of what happens when you get to the house that you've previously inspected, in my experience representing home inspectors, it is always better that you perform a new inspection and that you try as best you can to treat it as an original inspection. The reasons for that are, are several, but the most important ones are from the time you last inspected the house until now, many things have probably changed. In addition, the seller of this property may have information that was critical to the prior inspection that has now been hidden by carpeting or wall finishes. There may be conditions that were visible at one time that aren't visible anymore, and you have no way to determine whether or not there's been an adequate repair, nor should you be making that determination. And that's the other issue that arises is when you do an inspection close in time to the prior one, are you walking into a situation where you're now being put in the position of attempting to determine whether or not repairs or uh, further evaluation that you suggested in your prior report has been completed. It's certainly no harm to refer back to the prior report and if you have your client's permission to do so, make mention of things that were changed or that were different from your prior inspection. But again, if you're going to disclose any information about that prior inspection, other than the fact that you did one at that house without any other identifying information as to your client or the results, unless you're in that situation, you need to have authorization from your client. As a lawyer, we're always picky about having that authorization in writing, the reason being that people forget sometimes over a period of years or for one reason or another, it's better for them if they don't remember that they gave you that permission. So it's always better to have that permission in writing and it's always better to treat the inspection as a new inspection, but be mindful that if there are certain critical things that need to be mentioned, especially related to safety, that you're cognizant of those and that that information does make it into your report. Thank you.